the most important aspect in real estate is to get leads, right? Whether you're on the selling side like myself or involved in real estate investing, your business will not survive without leads. But how do I get leads, you ask? Don't worry because this video is all about real estate lead generation. Welcome everyone to Clueless Realtor, where we help realtors succeed. If this is your first time visiting, then thank you so much for stopping by. Do me a favor by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to be the first notified of our weekly videos. By the end of this video, you will have the tools and resources to help you with real estate lead generation. Trust me, if you stick around and follow these five steps, the leads should start to come. And the best part about it is that they are all free. Step one is that you cannot have the mindset of how can I get lead? Step one is that you cannot have the mindset of how can I get leads or where can I get leads? You have to shift your mindset to what or how can I help people versus are they going to buy or sell? Coming off as a genuine, kind, and helpful person develops trust and builds rapport. Well, you might say, I'm a new agent. I need leads now. As hard as it is, you don't want to be looked at as the agent that only cares if I'm going to buy or sell. I know it's very difficult, guys. It's very difficult, but you can do it. Not only are you an expert in real estate, but, but by helping others, you will become a referral base for information. This means that if someone is looking for a doctor, you refer them to your doctor. If someone needs a babysitter, send them down to the young college student down the street trying to earn a little bit of cash money for her meal plan. When you have these conversations and start helping others, this helps build your referral circle list. Believe me when I tell you, people have no problem helping you if you can make their lives easier. Step two is getting used to selling yourself. But I just said in the first step to not sell all the time, right? That's not exactly what I'm talking about here. When I say sell yourself, I mean start announcing to the world that you are what you do. Crank up the volume about yourself. You can easily sell yourself without being the sleazy salesperson. The fastest way to get started is posting on social media videos in particular because that is where the world of real estate is headed towards for every post that talks about that you talk about your real estate business you should have five to ten posts providing valuable information the more information that you provide the more you are looked at as the expert ask a question post a motivational quote post a random act of kindness celebrate a day like coffee day Mention a festival or concert that is coming to town. Make up a game or current list or show a current listing that you just closed. See guys, I just gave you seven ideas right there for posting. Start letting the world know that you are a valuable resource that happens to sell real estate. If nobody knows that you are in real estate, how are the leads going to come to you? Step three is knowing what your brand is and how to effectively use it. As a new agent, this is something that you should start thinking about as soon as you get your license. Branding can help branding helps you stay on people's minds like you are the first person that they think about when real estate is mentioned. Step three is knowing your brand and how to effectively use it. As a new agent, this is something that you should start thinking about as soon as you get your license. Branding helps you stay on people's mind like you are the first person that they think about when real estate is mentioned. People will remember a brand before they remember your name. Branding can be built in two different ways. You can either have a logo for your brand or you can use your face as the brand. Either way works fine. Just make sure that you are creative to the point where it stands out amongst your competitors. There's about 90 million realtors out there what are you going to do to help you stand out from the rest? Another thing that is related to branding is 
not only standing out, but what is your brand known for? Are you the main agent in a particular neighborhood? Do you only work with condo units? Even going as far as saying that you only work with veterans who are looking to buy. Whatever it is, build a brand, find a niche, and make sure to dominate that niche. Step four is to find a tool or resource that works and stick with it. Stop chasing all the shiny objects. Let me tell you, whatever you use for CRM, email list, open house sign sheets, they all are going to work. If it's working for you, stick with it. Stick with it until it doesn't work anymore. Now, especially when it comes to selecting a brokerage, every brokerage is going to offer you something that no other brokerage will offer. Just find a brokerage that you like and stick with them, at least for three to four years. Sticking with the brokerage shows that you are committed. The last and final step is to do an open house every weekend. Yes, if you are a new agent, there is no excuse for you not to be doing an open house every weekend. This is a great way to get real estate leads. The best part is every seller wants to have an open house on their property, but none of the veteran agents seem to want to do them. So this is the perfect opportunity to learn, to meet potential clients, and to prove to other more successful agents how valuable you are. You never know, they may ask you to join their team or actually send some leads your way. So there you have it everyone, five free ways for real estate lead generation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment. If you didn't, leave a comment anyway. I'll know what I need to prove on. Be safe everyone, be well, and let's go sell some houses.